Hello Mariners, hope you guys are doing well. So in this video we are going to talk about a tank scope it uses and also a comparison between a tank scope and a explosimeter. So till be till the end and clear your understanding between tank scope and explosimeter. So well uh, guys as you are seeing on this screen that this is a block diagram of explosimeter means how it's working as per the Wheatstone bridge. So this is also based on the uh, Wheatstone bridge as our explosimeter. So here are uh, resistance number one, resistance number four, resistance number two, and resistance number three, resistance six. So there are uh, resistance, and in the, it is saying that a sensor element of this instrument is of a non-catalytic hot filament. So first, so whatever the gas has been sucked in the instrument, it will, it will take take place every process will take place it here so this is this this is we can uh, call as a non catalytic hot filament so what is non catalytic non catalytic means all this resistance all this resistance are uh, having some chemical and only this resistance is without chemical means no chemical has been put on that that resistance so it is known as a non catalytic and hot filament means it is hot now that the composition of the surrounding gas is determined from the rate of loss of a heat from the filament now whatever the composition of the gas which are coming from the tank which is sucked it will be measured measured from as per as as whatever the action is done by the this resistance as this is based on whatever the amount of the heat has been lost by this resistance is calculated and will be deflected by the Wheatstone bridge meter and the reading will be calculated <laughs> and then the reading will be calculated now the presence of cs gas changes the resistance of the sensor filament and this is shown by the deflection of a wheatstone bridge this is the meter now the filament is not affected by the concentration of gas in the sample in a very rich gas mixture goes the mixture composition and remains there now the scale is directly graduated in the percentage volume of a ch uh, there are a lot of type of instrument has been come in the market this is the one of the oldest where the meter is tuned now it now on board we are using a digital form as you have seen in the figure i am to say in the screen that how the working is taking place now the you have seen that the working of this equipment and that equipment are same the basic difference is the tank scope can be used in a inerted condition means where the oxygen is less than 8% whereas the explosimeter can be used only when the oxygen is above 11% by volume whereas the explosimeter can be used only from its measure the CH gas between 1% LEL to 100% LEL whereas the tank scope measures the CH gas percentage between 1% by volume to 100% by volume hope these things are clear to you guys and please like and share share it thank you and jai hind